welcome back to our audience edition of Hannity. And this is a conversation targeting the NFL. The indictment of Minnesota Vikings running back Adrian Peterson for hitting his child with a tree branch has sparked a great debate about parenting and corporal punishment in America. And several high profile figures, they're all weighing in. Take a look. I'm from the South. Whipping is, uh, we do that all the time. Every black parent in the South is going to be in jail under those circumstances. You can't be the kid to make them do what they want to do. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thousands of things we have learned since then. And now we're to the point, the only thing I'm proud about is the team that I played for. They did the right thing. Yes. Take them off the field. I can't accept that from, from our teammates and, and uh, uh, around the league. So I think, um, obviously, um, you know, the message is out that, you know, you, you can't mess with domestic violence. I don't think that there is a Bible on how to, because each individual, that's why it's called individuals. No. Because we're all different for me as an African-American, because the question is, where did you learn that from? Was that learned from the slave master, getting the switch, being beaten? All right, a new NBC News Marist poll also reveals how Americans feel about the issue, with 34% saying that it is right for their parents to discipline their children by striking them. Now, it's also worth noting that the number jumps to 51% among respondents in the South. We bring back our studio audience to debate this. All right, how many in this audience got hit when they were kids? Hands up high. Pick how many? <laughs> Who, how many? Oh, look at these two in the front. How many did not get hit as kids? All right. How many think that some type of corporal punishment is okay? How many think under no circumstances? Seriously, Bo Deedle? You deserve to get cracked. My, four, no, no. <laughs> my father used to beat me with a belt and a strap. Right. I have never hit my kids. Same with me. Four children, and you want to know something? I actually used to cry to them, and they said, oh, Dad, one tough cop. You're not so tough. Yeah. I just walk away and I cry. Listen, my, my father hit me with a belt. And I have not hit my kids once. Isn't that in the funny 15 that and 13. We belt guys? I, I, all I have to do is take their new iPhone away. And I, it does wonders. <laughs> what did you do, Lauren, to ever get hit? I got soap in my mouth sometimes when I talked back. <laughs> and I got threatened with the wooden spoon. But I, I honestly don't recall ever getting hit with the wooden spoon. You don't ever recall? Yeah. Uh, yeah, me too. I think I had some soap in my mouth. And once in a while, I think my mom, she threatened with a brush. But anyway, with that being said, uh, as a parent of three children, I know that how important it is to take a step back when you get angry with your child and to realize that you, for me personally, you cannot touch your children. You cannot hurt your children. There are ways to reprimand. There are ways to help right, but your you know children. What? And Here's hit by hitting, disagree. by spanking, Hang on a second. is not okay. Wait a minute. Let me go to David. Because you know something? You can raise your, parent, your kids your way. But if a parent in the South, they grew up getting the switch, their parents grew up getting the switch, their grandparents grew up with the switch, what do you want to do? Do you want to arrest them now? Do you, want to put, do you want to indict them and put them in jail for what their own parents did to them? Not when they're cut and bleeding. I no, mean, no, I think that's sure. the yeah, I think Listen, that's the I got hit point. with the belt. I had welts. Yeah, but I understand. So the point here is you've got Adrian Peterson, an NFL running back, who is clearly a giant, powerful human My being. My father was a giant to me. Punishing a four-year-old yeah. with a wooden stick that broke his skin. Those pictures were taken Sean, weeks after we, the fact. The reality least... of the fact is we need a cultural change in perspective, no, more no, so no. than policy. Do you want to arrest point. them? Do you, a parent that believes and was brought up that way, do you want to arrest them? Do you want those children be no. David. No. Right. David Webb. Can, can we get David. this? Can we get this discussion back to actually a foundation that matters? We're selling a zero-sum game here in the audience. You either do hit him or you don't hit him. You're for corporal punishment or you're against it. One, that's a false premise. Children are raised. Yes, I do believe in corporal punishment, but responsibly when dealing with a child. Children are different. Parent are different. Environments are different. And all of you are standing here going, it's either. Or, or the other. Life is not zero sum. Misty, so you're not even having. By the way, can I can I add one more yeah, thing? We keep bringing up these role models. These guys are public figures. Role model is different than a public figure. So at least let's have the discussion on the real basis, not a zero sum silly game of I'm for it or I'm against it. Your circumstance is different from yours. But the issue now, is that even if you are a parent who believes in spanking a child, there's a line, and that line is written in the law. There becomes a point where this becomes child abuse. Listen, I, I want to be clear. I thought Adrian Peterson went too far. I, but here's where my concern is he's being brought up on a felony charge. And he may risk losing his 
his four-year-old son, which I think in the end will be worse for the kid, I have to believe that Adrian Peterson can learn to yes. be a better parent. We can't impugn an entire organization for a few bad actors, but we need protocols in place and use this as a platform to bring this. It's not just an NFL problem, it's a country Final comments, problem. real quick. I think